Hey YouTube, the famous Kodi Media Player have finally released the new version. It's the Kodi 16.0. It has a lot of fully rich improvements and there are more features coming out. So let's get started to show you how I have updated my Kodi 15.2 Isengard to the new version. So let's get right into it. So this is the current uh, version that I'm using. It's the 15.2 Isengard. So I'll be updating this um, uh, with the latest version. So I don't have, I don't need to uninstall the previous version. I'll just uh, 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 pretty much install it on top of the of the uh, previous installation. So let me try to um, let me try to exit this first. So basically, in order for you to to install the new version. You just have to go to kodi.tv so this is the uh, this is the URL or website of the Kodi media player which is formerly known as XBMC so as you can see last uh, February 21st Kodi 16.0 or Jarvis Kodi Jarvis has been released so you just have to go to downloads and then uh, go to the uh, the most uh, stable version just click this one so the there are other uh, better version um, or release candidate uh, version so you have to install the stable version which is 16.0 um, you just have to click this one but on my end I've already previously uh, downloaded it so it's just uh, sitting on my on my uh, download folder so but basically as you can see uh, it's already the previous version is already installed from my end it is um, it is installed on um, on my uh, D drive okay if I'm not mistaken it's on my D drive so I just have to um, uh, install on, on top of it so uh, let me just uh, check also could be on on my C drive but I'm not uh, sure all right so it's installed on my D drive under XBMC folder so I just have to launch the the downloaded uh, copy which is uh, sitting on my download folder so this is um, just an 81 uh, megabytes uh, file so let me click on it and I just have to click yes and then hit next I agree and um, these are the components so basically you have to check them all to get the most of the features of uh, Kodi 16.0 and uh, again it's uh, this is the destination folder as I've mentioned uh, previously the uh, Kodi 15.2 is already uh, installed so I'm just installing on top of the uh, previous installation I don't have to remove the previous version so I just need to hit next and it would prompt you for this uh, Kodi setup uh, dialog box um, it says a previous installation was detected do you, re do you really want to override it so basically I just have to override it it says uh, pretty clear here that your settings and library data will be kept intact so this is the good thing about this one you just you don't have to remove the previous version all your settings and library will be intact so hit next and this is for the start menu I'm gonna hit uh, install and there you go so it will be installing the uh, 16.0 so there you go after a few seconds uh, it, it has finally completed I can run the Kodi and hit finish so there you go if you move to um, system and then system info so previously it was saying of uh, Kodi 15.2 which is the Isengard but uh, this one, the build is uh, uh, Kodi 16.0 compiled uh, last uh, 15, uh, February 20, 2016. So 
Uh, basically, that's how simple you upgrade from the version 15.2 to 16.0 Jarvis. You don't have to remove the previous version. Um, all the settings and library are kept uh, intact. I will probably um, um, create more videos about the 16.0 Jarvis. So um, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, so you could get updates on videos I'm regularly uploading every week. So thank you.